Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Matt Hira from Cryptozoic Entertainment and designer of the Walking Dead AMC Don't Look Back Dice Game. I don't know if you have to say AMC. Uh, yeah, it's kind of really. just there. in there. They, they, they like to get their name in wherever I'm they can. Sure. Yeah, this is a competitive dice game, by the way. So, yes. Okay. Which is different than it a lot different of cooperative than some ones. Of the well, other Walking, well, Walking Dead, Dead, Dead is, yes, yeah, definitely usually it's all together. Right. Our first game, our first game was, uh, it, it starts out solo, but eventually you've got to team up and it becomes a team game survivors versus walkers. Uh, second game, pure co op, although there is an ulterior motive advanced play, which is still 98% co op. Okay. Uh, this, is, this is fully competitive, though. You know, okay. the world of zombies and surviving is, is pretty competitive. Resources are scarce. Okay. So what are we doing? You set this up here maybe a few turns into the yeah, game. Yeah, this is to like uh, maybe push. two turns in. And uh, what happens is at the, at the start of your turn, you draw a search card. And uh, let's say you're Michonne here. And you've drawn a more walkers card. So you need to roll a die to see which sector is going to get more walkers. It's going to be sector two. And now roll one die to see how many show up. And that's an additional four walkers. All right. Now, if you notice, we're over here, uh, and actually, we're at the farm. Whenever more walkers, a uh, more walkers card is drawn at the farm, uh, two additional walkers show up. So we actually have six okay. in this case. Now, one thing about the farm is that as a sector overload of five, that means at the end of your turn, any sector that has more than five walkers, some walkers are going to get inside. Okay, so one of these walkers is going to come out and come inside, unless you can kill them off. Okay. You've got a katana from last round, mm -hmm. so this would be a great time for you to go ahead and roll. You're in the middle here, so you're adjacent to all locations. Now you're trying to roll dice that match up where the walkers are. Okay. So go ahead and roll. Okay. And let's see what you got. Wow, you, that's not so good. You got one, two, a couple of fives. Now this, this part of the game is kind of like uh, Yahtzee, and there's a little bit of Farkle aspect to it as well. You can choose any die where there's walkers right now, so you can't choose that one, but you're going to have a chance to re-roll. So you could choose three as your target. Oh, no, you can't because there's none there either. So you can choose uh, four, five, or two. Okay. Now, and then you can re-roll the rest of the dice. Okay. So you want to choose two, so you get to actually re-roll all of them. Now, you are risking your one point. We keep score on paper here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is worth one point. To me, for killing to one walker. For killing walker. But you can risk it Farkle style in hopes of rolling more twos, get more kills, and more points. But if you don't roll any twos right now, you fail the attack. Okay. And because you're using a melee weapon, you must move into sector two because that's your chosen die. Okay. All right, go ahead and roll. And you got another two, so you're still okay. going. Would you like to uh, keep pressing your luck? Uh, go for it. So, what's the drawback if they get in the farm here? Why do I care? Sure. Well, you want as many points as you can. Every yes. kill is worth a point. When they get inside, um, it's at this point you kind of don't care. It's it's actually Carl's problem. <laughs> You've already killed two, so they're not going to overload anymore unless you fail the attack. You mean I've killed two tokens, uh, not two two walkers? So it goes. This is a seven. Oh, this is still nine, at actually. You're right. Actually, yeah, a lot would go in. That would force Carl to leave or take a ton of damage. Okay. So it's kind of a tower defense style as well. Uh, everyone starts out in the middle and you want to keep the walkers from coming in. Okay. When you're out here in the sectors, there's plenty of room to run around and get away from walkers. But there's not room to score because there's nothing next to me if this were cleared out. If it were cleared out, right. You've only killed two so far. There's still a lot to go. Uh, so not that. But big. if you're in the center, you go anywhere based you on your initial You can go anywhere. Role. Here's the difference. Um, at the end of the round, if, you, if there are walkers in your sector and you're outside, you take one damage. If you're inside, let's say that there are three walkers in there, not as much room to run around and, and dodge walkers inside of a farmhouse. Okay. You take one damage per walker. Okay. okay, so letting them inside the location, more dangerous. Okay. So do you want to press your luck on the attack? Sure. All right, you need a Why two not to here? keep it going. And you didn't roll any twos, therefore right. the entire attack fails. Uh, you're going to take one point of damage. And, and a bunch of, of them these, walk and a bunch of walkers go inside. Okay. All right. So uh, the object inside the search deck somewhere randomly, because you, you shuffle it every time, you're eventually going to find an escape route card. And that escape route is then randomly placed into a sector, so like four. Okay. And an additional five walkers are placed at the sector as well. The first person, uh, everyone has to try to get out of the area before the deck runs out. 
okay. or it's going to be all hell's going to break loose. The first person to take out the last walker in Sector 4 escapes and scores one point per player in the game. Okay. So it's not only killing walkers, it's also trying to be the first one to escape. Okay. okay? Then you move on to another location. Now the great thing about it is uh, you can play a one tile game in 15 minutes, a two tile game in 25 minutes, so you really just tailor it to how, or, or you know, an hour game with four. Okay. But if you die, you're actually out of the game, but if your points are still ahead, you can Victory win. and death. You can still win even That's though right. you die. So there you go. That's right. Sorry, Carl. Thanks yep. very much for the overview. Alrighty.